Hey, you fishing freaks out there. Thanks for staying with us while we're kind of going on this journey together. Um, if you haven't seen the other vlogs yet, Justin's kind of given me the camera to take over. And I'm starting to get used to this whole idea of vlogging to y'all. If I have some awkward moments, it's just because I'm a really awkward person. I just kind of want to talk about, you know, how today went because it really wasn't the best day so far. It's been day five. Today's been the first day that it's been pretty rough. You know, Justin did not sleep at all much last night. Around midnight, you know, he woke up and he was in terrible, excruciating pain. So I gave him some pain meds and, you know, he never really went back to sleep. 5 a.m. until probably around noon, you know, he wasn't talking much, he wasn't walking around much. He just wasn't doing a whole lot, so it was kind of like he was, a, he was digressing a little bit scared us because we didn't we had no idea what to expect so from him going from walking and talking and you know wanting to video and wanting to share experiences and you know telling me when his when his head hurt and when it didn't and you know just he was he was a really good patient for four days and then all of a sudden this morning it was like he went completely downhill so you can imagine how scary that was my parents ended up coming in today to just kind of check in on me and check in on Justin and see him and make sure that we were doing okay we got him back on his pain med regimen if you will and he did a lot better so now that he's gotten his pain meds um, he's doing a little bit better today his entire bandage is supposed to come off today, so that's going to be the next obstacle that we have to tackle. We have a couple unboxing things that a few of you fishing freaks have sent in, so thank you for that. Keep them coming because they really lift his spirits. So we're going to do a couple of those unboxing. Chris! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go check on Justin, see how he's doing, if he's uh, up and walking around a little bit. Hey. Hi. How you doing? I'm all right. Came in here to check in on you. I'm feeling the best I've felt all day right now. Yeah, I told you fishing face you weren't doing so well today. How's the light in here? Pretty bad. Uh, I can't change it. You'll see the room. I got you. Okay, but here's. So we're gonna start to kind of take off your bandage. If you, if I'm hurting you, please tell me. Mm. Okay, but you're too tall. Can you sit on something? There we go. Okay, perfect. Get nice and comfy. I might need to shave a little bit more. Got a clip some of Mm. Right, if you were to have gotten this before Halloween, you would have been like Frankenstein. That's what I feel like right now. Okay, this part is the little crusties. How are you feeling? Okay right now. Okay, you're doing great. Is it supposed to come off today? Yeah. What's... Ow. Okay, okay. Mm. Let me, um... What are we supposed to do with it after it comes off? Nothing. Just kind of let it breathe. It's pretty much all the way off. You just got like two little hairs stuck in there. <laughs> These are nail clippers. Huh? What? You're not clipping the stitches, are you? No. Ow! What are you doing? I'm cutting your hair because your hair is stuck in here. Yes, yeah, because I don't have proper scissors. Why don't you get some proper scissors? Oh, she's about to take this thing off of me. I'm not very excited about it. I can't tell. But it's going to be okay. I got you. Alright. This is where they shaved my head for the surgery. Okay. I just had to cut a little bit of your hair. Is it coming off easily? Yeah. It's just stuck on your skin now. Ready? Slow. Watch the sideburn. Just tell me if it's hurting. No. You're doing great. You're almost there. You're done. 
How do you feel? Feel lighter. What does it look like? Uh, you look a little scary. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But I think it's gonna be a great thumbnail. <laughs> you want to see yourself in the mirror? Yeah. All right. You want to stand up? Hmm. All right. Oh God. Look like a cyborg mixed with an ostrich. You know, this is good. Get some air to it. It's gonna start drying it's up. Way bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. But once those stitches come out in about seven days. What am I supposed to do here with this hair? Leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> I thought they would have like shaved a little bit more. So we finally just took off the bandage and not gonna lie, it looks pretty gruesome, but I can't imagine. It probably feels a whole lot better than it did earlier. How are you feeling? I feel some relief from the bandage being off. <sighs> looks like hell though. Can I kind of show them what it looks like? Yeah. Are you okay with that? All right, so I don't even want to know how many stitches there are. If you want to freeze frame it and count them yourself, go for it. But your eye looks so much better today. I feel, this morning I felt really bad. I still I can't really focus with this eye. I can't really like look with it, okay. but I feel better. You feel better than you did this morning. Yeah. Well, we'll kind of just leave him to rest a little bit, um, but maybe we'll be able to unbox a few things. You know, today was a pretty rough day for Justin, and I think getting that bandage off was kind of like a shocker to all of us. <laughs> like, now we really know what it looks like. But the good news is, you know, those, those stitches will come out in a few days, so um, just got to really be careful that we got to keep fingers away from it, you know, doesn't have and need does not need to get when wet. Can I wash my hair? When can you wash your hair? Um I can wash around your hair, but I don't want to wash. It's so dirty already. I know. It really doesn't look like it though. You do have a staple in your head too. Where? I didn't see that. Remember when you got that tube out and she stapled your head? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, keep sending us some love. I know Justin really needs some positivity from you guys. Um, I can tell today he's felt a little down, down and out. We're going to keep his spirits lifted. Maybe an unboxing? You want to see what that guy gave you? Yeah, I do. I'm so used to you doing it, but I feel like I'm... I'm going to do everything at once. Such a weird unboxing, <laughs> how you're... Just reaching your arm way back in there. You can subscribe to OSG's unboxings. <laughs> it's gonna be 10 minutes worth of. Uh... I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> They're all 45 minutes long. Oh, I think you need to open this. This might cheer you up a little bit. YOLO. It's like a bunch of plastic bags. <laughs> your lucky day. Oh my gosh. What? This is awesome. Look at that. Oh my gosh. YOLO. Brandon, Charlene, Thomas, and Cody. That is awesome. Mm. Give it a nice sniff. It smells good too. <laughs> it's like the first thing that you do when you get it something. Really good. I always smell it. Check that out. That looks awesome. You doing Makes the dab? My terrible face look better. <laughs> does that lift your spirits? It does. I mean, I know it doesn't sound like it at all because I'm on so many drugs, but it's just really cool, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know that thing that they said I would have, like, droop face? Yeah. It just feels like I have. I don't, but it just feels like it because this side of my face is, like, you know what I mean? Like bulldog. The swelling is really gone down on this side. Yeah. I, f I see it a little bit down here. I just have that permanent, like, like I'm not trying to do that. It's just naturally, like, bass face. Like, yeah, it's because you're the one. They said I, like, that's one of the possibilities you might get is 
You could get Drew P.I., which I don't have. Or you could get um, Bass Face. <laughs> where I told you that. <laughs> your face literally like droops. I think you have that right now just because you're numb right there and you can't see it. Like so you just permanently look like. You're not going to permanently look like you're about to eat a frog. Yes. You look like Damien from Meat Girls. I don't know who that is. Oh, maybe your followers might. I don't like that name. Damien? Sounds like Damien. How are you feeling today? I'm actually feeling better today. I, um, I don't have that, like, super clogged feeling in my head that I have been feeling. Yeah. How's your arm holding up that camera? <laughs> How do you like the vlogger life? I don't Can I get a shot of this? <laughs> Look at this. I was holding it with two arms. The brace. It's all new. So, I don't have um, total movement in my jaw. I can't really like talk all the way, so that's different. Yeah, you woke up a little like. swollen today too. But last night was the best night of sleep I've had. I think this is, what is this, day three home? Um, from the hospital Saturday Sunday Monday this is actually day like five is it because like, it's Wednesday okay good good so I think I think today is the day where I'm gonna start getting back into the social game I haven't really been giving you guys updates it's been all ocean spoon girl at this point but I feel now that I Oh gosh, the car just scared me. I don't have like peripheral vision either, so things kind of catch me off guard. But anyway, I'm, I'm f I feel like I have my wits about me more. I feel like all the brain mass is, is connected, it's working. It's just, I look like something off of, you know, future, futuristic robotic movie or something. Yeah, you kind of look like an alien. Just don't look good. You getting some movement in? I'm trying to get some movement. Uh, I've got this muscle thing. So, like a massager. They told me to move every day for circulation. Yeah, just not move too much. So I'm using this. I feel like you're in preschool. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. Does that look good? Yeah. Does it look powerful? You look like Superman. Oh, yeah. When you don't do anything, you just feel like a worthless slop tart. <laughs> What's your favorite word? Go into a mental depression. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to do. Elderly, elderly people exercises to give me something to feel like I accomplished a goal for the day. Well, you went walking. I had a dream last night. What? I was back in Rangerettes. I had this reoccurring dream where I'm on the stage and I'm supposed to be in a dance and I don't remember any of the steps. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor? You don't know what you're doing with your life? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very true though. <laughs> I just don't need you to remind me that. <laughs> so, venturing out, I left Justin at home with his mom. You know, I got him to sign a few cards for you guys who have uh, sent in some mailboxes and some packages for him to open. They really do lift his spirits because he's been a little down and out lately. So, thank you for that. Okay, so I'm here at the post office. We're going to send out these to you guys and uh, we'll see what you guys have sent us. Henry and Noah, thanks guys for sending those in. Get the, I'll get them to open that today. You ready to do another unboxing? All right. This is our second unboxing in one video. The time. Does that happen too often? Oh. It looks like only a stand. Oh, is this a drawing? Someone drew this? Gosh. 
some talented fans. That's amazing. You look so handsome right there. <laughs> this is from Ann. Look at this. Ann Hicks. framed and everything. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's our little bubby. Yeah, oh my gosh, I loved his little forehead. <laughs> that is ridiculously talented. Man. What's her name? Anne. Anne. Thank you, Anne. You did an incredible job. Thank you all for memorializing Winston. I think I've decided I'm going to do a shirt for him during the recovery. So I need his, I need his bulldog strength. I already have his good looks. <laughs> but I need his, I need his strength and all this good art, all these awesome things about Winston. It's been inspiring. So um, I'll make sure to get, I'll get something cool done for him. I'll get a cool shirt made for you guys and me. Really, I, I want a shirt of him. Sport him. Sport my boy. The Bass Cave. I don't still don't have a name for it, but there's so much cool stuff you guys are sending in that. I feel like there needs to be like a studio, <laughs> a small studio uh, in the honor of all the fishing freaks and all the just amazing people that have sent in their great work and are fans of this channel and what we're doing. I'm touched by this. I think it's amazing. I think that's a good way to end this vlog. I'm feeling better. I'm on a good happy note now with Winston. All right, this guys. This is weird. Normally I'm, I'm doing the outros. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in on this video. We did uh, two unboxings and you guys saw the rest. So thankfully, Justin's feeling a whole lot better now than he was a couple days ago. So he's on the mend. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. There's going to be more videos with how Justin's doing, more vlogs, more family vlogs. I have an and... idea. I think how I've got a f footage right now. I think how we're going to present it is I'll give you kind of an update. I'll give you guys an update how I'm doing and then I'll present the old footage. We'll tell stories and whatnot. It's a very interesting time to be alive and watching this channel. <laughs> it is, so just stick with us. We're seeing a lot of interesting things. So, so we'll keep giving you guys updates right. and we'll kind of go like back in time, you know, some of the trips that Justin has been taking. Sounds fantastic. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya. <laughs>